Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Connie Russell and I'm your teacher for Individuals and Societies, which as you know is social studies. This is my 17th year in the classroom and it's my third year here at our IB school. I might look familiar to you because I'm also our yearbook advisor. So last year at Mount Morin, I was the lady who would pop up in the hallway and take your picture to put it in the yearbook. I look forward to another awesome year here at IB. We will study United States history and then of course the history of our beautiful state of North Carolina which I have back here behind me. Uh, as far as supplies, you do need a composition notebook and you'll just need a folder. A lot of our assignments will of course be virtual but we still need that paper and pencil notebook whether you're a virtual student or one of my in-class folks. Um, I wanted to show you a little bit around our classroom. So this is our room. It's nice and big. We're down at the end of the eighth grade hall, and we will do a lot of still cooperative work. Even though we may not be able to be within six feet of each other, we can still connect with each other and, and do a lot of group work and, and activities where you still get to col collaborate with your peers. Um, throughout our year, as we study the history of the United States, we're going to focus on four key concepts from IB curriculum. They are time, space, and place, change, systems, and global interactions. So all of our units will center around one of those concepts and we're going to go through the history of the United States from its founding the whole way up as far as we can get to present day. And then of course we will look specifically at North Carolina and how we have interacted with our nation as our nation has grown. The most important thing I want you to take from this year is that history is really a story. It's even in the word. So as we study history we're going to learn the story of our American people. And I look forward to meeting you either virtually or in person next week. Thank you. Bye.